Previously, we learned order of magnitude. So, what is order of magnitude? Increase or decrease of plus minus one of um, of uh, of a value of quantity. Okay. So, yeah, um, uh, so why do we need order of magnitude? Let me give you an example. Order of magnitude is to estimate. is completely different than sig fig. Sig fig, when you have time, you go to the lab, you take the ruler. You do the measurement and you only take the digit that are reliable. However, order and magnitude, you don't have the ruler, you don't have access to anything. You are on the run and you have to uh, you have to make an estimate. For example, Enrico Fermi, he won the Nobel Prize in 1938, 1939, he joined Columbia University as, uh, as a professor. 1940, he invented a nuclear reactor. And he realized that he and uh, Liu Gillard realized that it is possible to create an atomic bomb using Einstein equal mc square. And they wrote a letter to Einstein. They met with Einstein, and Einstein convinced Roosevelt. Uh, and the Ro and Roosevelt funded the Manhattan Project. And uh, Enrico Fermi became one of the leading scientists of the Manhattan Project. Uh, that led to the invention creating of atomic bomb. It was 16 July 1945, um, um, and, and, and they need to test the atomic bomb, the first atomic bomb, five in the morning, and uh, it was New Mexico. And uh, and Rico Farmi took a paper, A4 paper, and uh, and he, he he made piece, uh, lots of pieces, and he throw them uh, backward, just like this. Uh, if I have, a, if I make it a piece, uh, and he throw them backward like this. And he take the ruler, and he measure the distance as they falling, the pieces of paper falling to the ground, and he uses that information to estimate the magnitude of the first nuclear explosion, and he estimated it would be ten thousand T and T. It was actually fifteen thousand T and T. So he was so close. So when you don't have example set, when you don't have any prior knowledge, then um, then order of magnitude is the way to go or when you are on the run and you have to quickly make an estimate order of magnitude is the way of way to go so let me give you an example of order of magnitude so let's consider this number let's consider 2000 4000 8000 maybe I don't know uh, 0.0002 and 0.0009 so we're gonna do it few ways uh, number one let's write quantity uh, the uh, the the as I the unit doesn't matter, but let's put meter. Let's put meter. Uh, okay, qu quantity. Um, you know uh, the scientific notation sig fig. Um, the order of magnitude by scientific notation. Order of magnitude by log. And order of magnitude by power of ten. Um, ten raised to four. Ten raised to four has how many zero? One, two, three, four. Uh, 10 raised to 3, 1, 2, 3, 10 raised to 2, 1, 2, 10 raised to 1, 1, 0, 2000 is 10 raised to 3, uh, and sig fig is 1 because this is the sig fig. Now, order of magnitude of 10, we often say order of magnitude is the power of 10. Uh, order, of, order of magnitude uh, is power of 10. Ten. Um, so what is the power of 10? 3. Order of magnitude is 3. However, the coefficient, the a, this is called a. a has to be, a has to be bigger than, if a is bigger than 3.16, then you have to add 1 to the power of 10. So in this case, um, 2 is 2 bigger than uh, 3.16? No. So we're not going to add anything to the 3. We're probably going to add. All right. So now we're going to use the log. So log 2000. Log 2000 going to give you uh, a number that runs to 3. That runs to 3. You will have to round it. So log, for example, log 2000 going to give you, if you use the uh, log, log 2, 1, 2, 3. And that's going to give you how much? So that's going to give you 3.301. 3.301 and that is 3 
and that is that is three. You have to round it to three. Okay, good. You have to round it to whole number. Good. And now eight thousand. Oh, so now two thousand. Uh, let's see. Let's put the number. Uh, one is close to one. One uh, is close to anything between one to nine. Yeah, two thousand is close to uh, close to two thousand is close to uh, uh, one thousand then ten thousand. Okay, so three. Okay, good. So by power of ten, we also got three. Very nice. So that's nice, eight thousand. All right. So the power of ten. We're gonna write power of ten. Power of ten. By power of ten, we get three. The order of magnitude. Order of magnitude by power of ten. Okay, good. Um, so eight thousand. Eight thousand is eight times ten is to three. And sig fig is one, and is eight bigger than three point one six? Yes, eight is bigger than three point one six. So what what do you want to do? You want to write three plus one. Okay, so log eight thousand is a number that runs to four. You can you can check it. Log eight thousand is log uh, eight is a number that is rounds to four. So number that is 3.9, 3.9 rounds to 4. Okay, good. And then 8,000. 8,000 is close to 10,000 or close to 1,000? Is close to 10,000. Of course, so 10,000 has an order of magnitude 4. So 4. All right, so let's do the point 0, 0, 0, 2. So 2 times 10 is to negative 4. Uh, okay, so now 1 sig fig and then is 2 less than uh, uh, okay a has to be less than uh, a has to be less than less than 3.16 is 2 less than 3.16 yes so we're gonna write negative 4 plus 0 okay so log uh, point zero 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 two is gonna give you negative 4 you're gonna have to round round it to negative 4 now let's see whether that makes sense point zero 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 two is close to this or close to that uh, of course it is close to uh, this one okay so negative four all right last one point zero 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 nine and um, we're gonna write nine times ten is to negative four one sig fig and then uh, of course is nine bigger than is nine um, is nine is smaller than 3.16 no so we're gonna add one so negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 so negative 3 so log I don't know log uh, 0 0.0009 is equal to negative 3 it's around to negative 3 by the way okay good point seven uh, zero 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 four three two two times 10 raised to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, sig fig, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Order of magnitude uh, by scientific notation. So A has to be less than 3.16, uh, less than or equal to. Okay, uh, extremely less than, sorry, less than 3.16. So 7.7 .7 is bigger than. Uh, is bigger than uh, is bigger than 3.16 so it has to be uh, 8 plus 1 and the log will give you 9 uh, you rounded it to 9 you have to round to 9 so log log this number will give you round to 9 okay good so now this one would be 6.8 uh, 6.8765 times 10 raised to 1 2 3 4 so sig fig is one two three four five six and the order of magnitude this is bigger than this one okay so then four plus one and this of course give you five round to five what is round to five log I'm just gonna write it down log uh, six eight seven six five point zero is uh, round to five okay now next uh, 2.8200 times 
1, 2, 3, negative 3, 10 raised to negative 3. 2.82, of course, is smaller than this, so we're going to leave it like that. Negative 3 plus 0. And how many sig fig? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fig. And then, of course, this is negative 3 because log this will be negative 3. Okay, good. Now, uh, 4. Uh, point zero zero seven zero 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 times ten raised to zero, right? Good. Now one two three four five six seven uh, seven six fig, and then four is bigger than of course uh, three point one six, so zero plus one. And then when you say log this, and that is gonna be of course give you one. Now next, so one two three four five five six fig. All right. So now next, um, let's write, um, I don't know, 1 times 10 raised to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. Or you can count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6 is 1 less than 3.16, of course. So negative 6 plus 0. And then, of course, 1. And then you rounded it to, if you do the log, is the log going to give you 1? and negative 1 and if you do the log log gonna give you negative 6 all right so this is 2 2 times 10 raised to 6 plus 0 and log is gonna give you 6 okay all right this one 4.321 times 10 raised to 1 2 3 negative 3 4 is bigger than 3.16 so it is negative 3 uh, plus 1 and if you do the log negative 3 plus 1 is of course negative um, ne log this one is going to down to negative 2 and then sig fig is 1 2 3 4 4 sig fig 7.50 times 10 is to 2 so how many sig fig here uh, only 7.5 in this case there is no decimal so I'm not going to put the decimal so uh, so 2 sig fig so 7.5 7 times 10 is to 2 so it's only two sig fig and uh, of course 7.5 is bigger than that so order of magnitude is 2 plus 1 and then if you do the log 750 log 750 is going to be 3 all right 4.0 times 10 raised to uh, 1 2 3 4 5 negative 5 Okay, so 4 is bigger than that, so of course uh, negative uh, 4, 4 is bigger than that, so negative 5 plus 1, and log of this one would be give you negative 4, okay, and uh, how many sig fig, uh, there would be 2 sig fig, 2 sig fig, alright, uh, now I'm going to solve the last problem, order of magnitude to solve a problem, what is the problem, so the earth to moon, so there is a distance between earth to moon and that is 3.84 times 10 raised to I don't know uh, 10 raised to 8 meter and these rounded it to 4 times 10 raised to 8 meter and we can also write it to kilometer 4 times 10 raised to 5. How many dollars do I need to put on top of each other so that I can got to the moon? I don't have dollar however I do have A4 paper the thickness of A4 paper would be similar to dollar. I cannot measure the thickness of A4 paper because it's just too tiny. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 10 of them. So 1, 2, thickness. So 10, bill, 10 th A4 paper or 10 bills, 10 bills would be 1 millimeter. I don't want millimeter, I want it kilometer. So, so millimeter, meter, 1 meter is thousand millimeter but I don't want meter I want kilometer so one kilometer is thousand meter so millimeter millimeter cancel meter meter cancel so what we left with we have 10 raised to 1 10 raised to 1 plus 3 plus 3 so we have 10 raised to 7 uh, bills per kilometer However, the moon is not one kilometer above the ground. It's not on the rooftop. Is uh, four times ten to five kilometer. So, how many dollar bills I need? 
do I need 10 raised to 7? No, I need 4 times 10 raised to 5 kilometer times 10 raised to 7 bills uh, 1 kilometer 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 cancel so 4 times 10 raised to 5 plus 7 bills so how many bills I need 4 trillion 4 tra times 10 raised to 12 bills if I put 4 times 10 raised to 12 bills or 4 trillion 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 one two three uh, then I would be able to get to the moon